favorite punk album? Favorite punk album, Elvis Costello, The New Attractions. Which one? I'm thinking. Action man. Single. Uh, Alright, so how do you pick the name Dwayne Peters Gunfight? Addy is my name. <laughs> and he'll eventually be DD Gunfight. Which, of course, crossbreeds with double penetration gunfight sexual. But. I, I don't like my name in front of the band, but that happens because of my bills. I'm the solo record, and it's smart, and that's what we do. And you can either hate me or like it, but I gotta move on, and I keep writing. I have to write another record. I got a few bands. That's what I do. I write records and I skate. That's cool. So do you usually skate parks when you're out on a tour? Or? Yeah, if I can do it. Uh, it's hard to skate uh, when you're on tour with music because musicians nowadays and skateboarders are completely different. And uh, the musicians are more skateboarders right now. It's gone up and down, dude. Uh, uh, it's 15. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a pessimist that's turned into an optimist because of the state of our country and because of my own children and because of a father that was a father by, by blow <laughs> and now I'm a father by love. I love my children and I've always loved my children. But, I'm a wild animal and I've always been crazy and I, I, I don't think I ever got it until I was around 30 something. How important is that fucking can be around your kids and to do your life with kids. Right. Do you ever plan to take your kids out on a tour one day? Yeah, I had, I had my kid. Uh, he's not around anymore, but uh, I had him out in the last old cars and upstart. I talked to him all the time. He's not on the planet. Uh, older son came in and out. He's a drummer in a band. Uh, my youngest son right now, uh, Clash, he's four. He's been on tour when he was nine months old. But he doesn't remember anything. His mom is is like doing a totally different thing, so she can be a totally like all time mom. Uh, Chelsea goes. She just grabbed a bunch of the raddest chicks. Uh, Sam from uh, uh, Molly Crew. Uh, the chick from the Donnas. I don't know. I uh, think her name. Uh, and then, uh, who's left? Singer Tuesday. It's got like seven, uh, octave range. It's got a gnarly band. They play Barracuda. And if you were a musician, no one touches that song. And that's what they do. They go, she's like really in the rock and roll, not stepping down. Music used to be really different. Led Zeppelin, all these bands, the hippies, which were the first punk rockers, they were 20 something, and the level of musicianship has gone so fucking down now. It's sad. And my wife just stepped up to the plate. I mean, I watch her work her ass off around a kid, this, that, and that. People that complain, it makes me sick. People that uh, still listen to rap, there's nothing there. And to me, it's like a paper doll person, which in the old days, the 60s, where I'm from, paper dolls were paper people. Plastic coating. You're a paper doll. A lot of people should wake up, and a lot of people are waking up. Uh, I think we're, we're done as a country and a world, and I think we're going to get 
wipe me out, and I think it's kind of good. Because I'm really, I think we've gone through this a billion times. I'm really sick of the retardedness and the, um, um, what we do to our, our kids and what we do to ourselves. As humans, we're no better than the ape. We're in the fucking cubicles. You don't want to go outside. You don't want to move. You want to sit. You want to get fat. And you want to blow up and complain and die. And I think it's the saddest fucking state in the world. My best friend is Evil Knievel's fucking torch taker. His name is Trigger Gum. He's gonna jump in about, I don't know what date it is. Uh, I think it's the 11th. And guess that the 17th will be six more days. He's gonna put his life on the line. That's what we do. Because you gotta put your life on the line to make a buck. And I'm not gonna work for McDonald's. I'm not gonna work for all the... This is a fascist country, fascist state, company owned. I'm not gonna work for you. Sorry, that's a fact. I'm not gonna take your chip. And it's all real. You think it's funny? Laugh. Your cupboards are empty and your jobs are gone. It sucks. Get with it. Let's all get together. We're all humans. Peace, love, and Bobby Sherman.